Hey, wonderful souls. Welcome back to Happy Healthy Lives, where we explore a life of health and also the joys of life's simple pleasures. Today, we're delving into the whimsical world of kite flying. For me, this is a timeless activity that brings a rush of joy and happiness. My name is Tracy, a proud member of the Happy Healthy Lives team. My role with the team is to bring joy and happiness to you through the videos I create. For my first video, I decide to share my love for the simple pleasure of flying kites. I loved to do this with my dad when I was young. I still love to fly kites but I'm not very good at it. Last spring, while I was walking in a park, I noticed these beautiful kites flying, with no one attending to them. They were flying by themselves. I was so captivated by these awesome flying kites that I recorded this video you are now watching. Some of you may recognize Super Mario, the fictional character and one of the most iconic figures in the world of Nintendo video games. Stick around till the end of this video to see how Super Mario was tired from all that flying and how he picked himself up again. There's something truly magical about flying a kite. It's not just a simple piece of paper and string, it's a ticket to joy that transcends age, culture, and background. It's a timeless joy that has enchanted people for centuries. Did you know that the origins of kite flying trace back thousands of years to ancient China? Legends speak of a farmer named Lu Ban, who crafted the first kite using bamboo and silk, introducing the world to the universal joy of soaring kites. Fast forward through time, and the simple joy of kite flying evolved into an art form. Different cultures contributed to the diverse designs we see today. I will resume sharing my flying kites video right after this quick introduction on the diverse designs and constructions of today's kites. 1. Diamond Kite One of the most iconic and simple designs, the diamond-shaped kite is easy to construct and flies well in a variety of wind conditions. 2. Box Kite Box kites have a more complex structure with multiple cells or boxes. They are known for their stability in the air and were used in early aviation experiments. 3. Delta Kite Delta kites have a triangular shape and are often more stable than diamond kites. They are popular for both recreational and artistic purposes. 4. Sled Kite Sled kites have a simple, flat design that resembles a sled. They are easy to build and can fly in a wide range of wind conditions. 5. Parafoil Kite Unlike framed kites, parafoil kites are soft kites with an inflatable structure. They are versatile and come in various shapes and sizes. 6. Dragon Kite Dragon kites are typically long, serpentine kites that resemble dragons. They are popular in many Asian cultures and are often flown during festivals. 7. Stunt Kite Stunt kites, also known as sport kites, are designed for acrobatic maneuvers. They have two or more lines, allowing the flyer to control the kite's movements. From the classic diamond-shaped kites to the intricate box kites and the lively dragon kites, each design tells a story of creativity and cultural expression. What's fantastic about kite flying is its accessibility. It's one of those rare pleasures that doesn't demand a hefty price tag. All you need is a kite, a bit of open space, and the wind beneath your wings. It's an affordable adventure for everyone. Remember the sheer joy you felt as a child when your kite danced in the sky? It's a nostalgic experience that takes us back to simpler times, reminding us of the pure, unbridled happiness found in the simplest of activities. Flying a kite connects us with nature. Feeling the wind on our faces, watching the kite dance against the backdrop of the sky, it's a moment of harmony with the elements, a serene connection with the great outdoors. As we wrap up our journey into the world of soaring joy, I encourage you to dust off that kite, head to an open field, and let the wind carry your spirits high. And here we are, folks, the moment most of you have been waiting for. Super Mario was so tired of flying that he had to rest for a little and then picked himself up again. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share the joy with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more uplifting content. Until next time, may your kites fly high and your hearts soar even higher. I'm Tracy. Thanks for joining us.